Hey, I'm Stuart. And I'm Jeff. Welcome to a walk around the block video series. Uh, going to talk about auxiliary in our block. Yeah, a good one. Yeah. Classic. It, um, it's great for those patients where there's coagulation issues, it's superficial, it's compressible. Um, it's funny now with ultrasound, I think I'm doing the same as I did when I got shown how to do it with arterial cannula. Go Just into the through artery through the other side. Except rather than go through the artery, we're going to put local behind it and then put it in front. Yeah. It takes, you know, I, th I feel like this block has fallen a little out of favor with the <clears throat> ultrasound and the rise of supraclavicular and infraclavicular. But, man, it's good to have in your back pocket when, uh, when you need to. Yeah. So I have set the depth deliberately deep here. So I want to see the humerus, the bottom right, uh, right -hand corner of the screen. Um, and you can see the bony humerus and the, the teres major, the conjoint tendon. I call it the U.S. postal eagle. You can see this. It looks at the beak of the eagle going into, into the ultrasound screen here. I, and, and that's important. When I scan down and I can see uh, the, the heads of the tricep, the radial nerve is actually just scooting down be between, uh, between those heads, yep. the, heads of the tricep. When I'm going to scan medially and scan uh, up the arm, if you see that U.S. postal eagle, you are now proximal enough that the, you know the radial nerve is there. Even if you can't see it. You'll get you, it. You, yeah. 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 Okay. So now, in the middle of the screen, I relax. Large veins are easily compressible. So... Two of the first cases of local anaesthetic systemic toxicity reported with ultrasound were with this block. And I think somebody has had the, the death grip pressing down hard on the probe. They've not seen anything there. Put the local in. Of course, it always starts aspiration negative. But if you relax yeah. the probe before you start, you can see where those veins are. It's so easy to do. The, the lightest touch even just, yeah. just collapses it. Now, um, the artery is there, the only one that's not compressible and pulsatile. And HANA, uh, it's interesting, to the, the left-hand side with HANA, there are a couple of nerves. I'd say between the 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock position. Mm -hmm. um, when I am going to do the block, what I'll try and do is identify the muscutaneous. I'll put local in there, then I'll put local behind the artery and then put local in front of the artery. And that's all I end up doing. Again, it's another perivascular block, kind of like the infraclavicular. Um, and I'm going to put now in the middle of the screen, and there's a biceps and brachialis, and a little white thing that if I scan down, it goes away from the rest of the plexus. When I scan up, it goes towards the rest of the plexus. Yeah. And that's Hannah's muscutaneous nerve, okay? It's nice, nice one. Yep. I th to me, this is the most visible nerve in the body. Oftentimes, you'll see it just right in that little mm -hmm. fascial plane. And it's, uh, um, we'll show for another, an, another one, we'll actually show somebody who's actually injected right into the muscutaneous nerve. That's the Regina sees a horror show, horror how show, not to yeah. do it, okay? The next Halloween show. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> so, if I inject into muscutaneous on the way there, um, then I'll usually just try and glance underneath it put the local in the fascial plane, not in the nerve, then keep progressing and place the local behind the artery. Where Hannah is, there's a vein right behind there. Often when you go right into fascia, deep to the vein, you can sort of have the local anaesthetic spread behind the artery. Um, here, where Hannah is, if I actually start to uh, scan down a little bit, behind that you can see that I can now see the radial nerve is behind the vein, behind mm -hmm. the artery. It's about to go down in the spiral groove. So it's tucked back there. So I really do need to get local anaesthetic behind that vein. And if I sort of slide in the fascia just underneath it, the, once you get beyond six o'clock, the local usually scoot, scoot behind it. And then with Hannah, actually, when I relax pressure, her median nerve almost comes up to, to the, the 12 o'clock position. When I press, it ducks down to about mm -hmm. the, the nine o'clock. And then just beyond that, further to the left is our ulnar. Now, if I spread the, local, uh, the gel around and we start to scan down, we can probably uh, see now the median nerve is flipped over the top and the ulnar nerve is now at about 10 o'clock. If I try and go a little bit further down, our ulnar nerve is now stuck right on the top of the muscle. 
and I'm scanning pretty far down, uh, beyond halfway down her upper arm, and the ulnar nerve is just sitting there on her, tr um, on her tricep, top of her tricep. If we scan back up, we can see the median is actually staying with the artery, and it'll stay with the artery all the way right down to the elbow, and the ulnar is coming back to join it. That's so that, a great, great maneuver, by the way. I, I do that frequently, so I'll go right down to the elbow, make sure I know what's what, because they're often quite packed in there at the artery. And I can actually have a nice shot now of the radial yeah. nerve just coming up yeah. underneath uh, her ulnar and her and median, tucked in nicely together there. There's one other little trick. Um, rather than just do a subcutaneous wheel, you can look for intercostal brachial. I never looked, and Hannah, it looks a lot. What I normally do is put the local uh, subcutaneous. I can look and see if I can see it, the intercostal brachial sitting in the fascia just above. And it looks to me like there's something just sliding diagonally across on the fascia. Um, but usually if I bring the needle out, I'll just slide it across just on top of that fascia mm -hmm. rather than doing just a traditional blind wheel right. for the intercostal brachial. But yep, radial's going to go down in the spiral groove. The median, it stays with the artery all the way down to the elbow. And the ulnar is going to slide across the top of the triceps towards the elbow and obviously go into the ulnar groove. What I'm looking for though, when I'm not teaching, I really don't care about that. I want to get the US Postal Eagle, find musculocutaneous, then put local behind the artery, and put local in front of the artery. I'm going to wait the races. Yep. Yep. Good one. Great one. See you next time.